Hello kids, it's me again. I'm here to tell you about day 12 of my Dover to Cape Wrath cycling adventure. Um, started this morning in Kinloch U, little place in the middle of nowhere. You'll have to look at it on Google Maps. And went to Ullapool, um, which is a slightly bigger place, but still only about three streets um, in the whole town. Uh, where do we uh, so yeah morning briefing was very brief because there were lots of midges around and so um niv who was sort of in full body clothing and had this sort of midge net thing over his head that made him look like a beekeeper <laughs> um just basically said go on that road and keep cycling till till you see us again um navigation being quite easy now at this um part of the country then yeah, we <laughs> we just stayed on the same road for miles and miles and miles, so it wasn't that complicated. Um, lunch, uh, they would, wouldn't serve us before 12, but it was only 31 miles in, so uh, it was a nice opportunity to have a bit of a lay-in this morning, and also coast along in the morning. Weather was really nice, it was really warm, even by about just after 9 o'clock. Um, and I cycled at the back by myself, just coasting along because there was no rush, and I had a really nice time. Probably my my favourite stint of the whole trip so far. Stunning scenery, just felt like you're at the end of the world at points, or up in I don't know somewhere in Canada or something like that. Um, I went along to myself, a few favourite songs, and just a really nice time, feeling all sort of fulfilled and happy and content and. Uh, yeah, really good. Um, got to lunch. Uh, that was a really nice location as well. Um, I can't um, remember where exactly. Uh, but um, basically we, we sat on it outside because it was so hot and I was worried about burning and putting sunblock on and everything. <laughs> um, I know it is August, so you shouldn't be too surprised, but up here, um, it, it was a bit of a shock. Uh, Alt Bayer, or Alt Bay, A U L T B E A, the Alt Bayer Hotel um, on the seafront. That was very nice. Uh, and then we headed off after that, and that's where things started getting a bit more complicated. Um, to get back to the main road and then pick up the route again. Someone said, oh, there's a shortcut, you can sort of go through there and blah, blah, blah. And um, we were, uh, weren't really listening properly. I had a few other things. I was making a call to my boss and sort of giving my bike a bit of a clean at the time. And at the end of the day, me, Steve and Jackie ended up sort of missing it and doing about seven or eight extra miles, um, finding a dead end and, and going, oh, we better go back to the where we had lunch and where we know we can pick up the route from. So that was a, a bit of a detour. And so we added about eight extra miles to it. So what was going to be a, a 75 mile day turned into a 83, 84 mile day. Um, and what was going to be a long afternoon session anyway of 44 miles, pushed it over the 50 mile mark. So that was, um, that made it all a bit of a struggle to be honest. Um, doesn't sound a lot in the context of some of the days I've done, we've done, but um, mind and body's tired now. And um, when you sort of ment you wake up and you're mentally calibrated to cycling a certain amount each each day. So to get after lunch and then find that you've got to do eight more, and then you're, you're suddenly behind everyone. You know you're going to be getting in maybe an hour later than you thought you were. It's sort of oh, a bit of a pain in the neck, but um, that's the way it is. The only, the one good thing for that is, um, I think the mileage was going to come in at about 997, but with those extra miles it definitely pushes me over the 1000 mile mark for, for the whole trip for the two weeks now, so um, count your blessings. Um, so once once we found the route, I sort of pushed on, Steve and Jackie are a bit slower than me, and um, I felt a bit bad leaving them, but I thought I'm, I'm not going to cycle at their pace for the whole afternoon for 45 miles so I cracked on so it meant made for a bit of a lonesome afternoon and the, the legs were tired 
Uh, so um, by the time we got we got to the afternoon brew stop, which was um, at 60 miles was my added thing. It ended up being a long 29 mile stint that to the brew van, and I'd I'd just started to to bonk basically to to really flag and have have not a lot left in the legs and climbing hills at a, a quite a pitfall rate, probably sort of five miles an hour or so. So um. It's good to see the brew van. I, just, I don't know why, because I've been um, I've been eating loads and trying to vary what I eat so you get everything you need for your energy and recovery and whatnot. And um, had loads of energy drinks today and gels and things, but it just wasn't happening. Maybe it's just general fatigue from the whole thing now. But I, yeah, the, there was very little left in the tank come that brew stop. Um. But they pet me up. They gave gave me a few gels, and and uh, I explained what had happened with the extra miles. So they knew Steve and Jackie would be um a way a, a way back and, and and hang around for them and whatnot. Um. And then went on my way again. Um, the brew stop was about a third of the way up a really nasty hill actually. Um, and so I, I carried on. Still had no energy. Um, plodding along to the top. The weather was getting worse. It, it was glorious at lunchtime, but it was we knew it was going to get worse in the afternoon. And it sort of it came in. It can come in really quickly on those big hills or mountains or whatever they are. And um and yeah, wind started blowing, getting headwinds, rough surface. Everything just suddenly seemed to turn, and you know, road surface was rubbish. And uh, yeah, it, it just started <laughs> started all being a bit depressing, really. <laughs> um, but then, about I don't know, maybe about five, a, a kilometre or five hundred metres from, from the the summit of this hill, I suddenly got a bit of energy from somewhere. I know one of the gels or some something I'd shoveled down my throat it obviously just kicked in. I got a little burst, and I picked up, managed to make it to the top, the summit, and made a little funny video there explaining of how the wind weather returned and whatnot. I was a bit worried because I, I was quite cold. I only had my little skinny um cycling shorts on rather than my thicker mountain bike ones. Uh and a thin sort of wind cheater thing. Um my proper uh now waterproof again warmer top was in the brew van which was back um back behind me and was gonna be there for a while because um at least until Stephen Jackie arrived, so it, it was all looking a bit a bit bad. I was like about twenty three miles from final destination at that point. Uh, weather was looking crap. I was cold, no energy, um, but it it didn't turn out too bad. I I was giving myself a sort of stern talking to on the way out. You know, this is what you've trained for. You knew it wasn't going to be easy. This, these are the bits to dig in, and you know, been through worse and. Shouting at myself and everything, but um, it worked anyway. I was, it was cool in the end. The um, when I managed to get down the mountain, it took a while because it with the wind, it was still you're still having to sort of pedal downhill, which is depressing in itself, really. Um, but finally got down and um, picked up a bit of speed and uh, a bit of energy. And um, as I got down off off the mountain, the it, um, the weather got a little bit better as well. Um, and then a little while later, Niv come past in the brew van, so I managed to get my warmer top. Um, so it it all it all came back a bit in the end. Uh, but yeah, bit bit of a struggle that one, bit me mentally and physically, bit bit tough in the afternoon. Um, I got in about probably about six forty five in the end, so a long tired day. I say nip about eighty four miles. Poor Steve and Jackie, I don't think they got into about eight o'clock. I've not seen them tonight yet. Hopefully they're um they recover and they're and they're and they're okay for tomorrow. Uh then I just popped out in Ullapool tonight. Oh had a, a very nice B and B. I'm a four post to bed, so that's um that's quite nice. Um popped out in Ullapool, bumped into some of the other guys, told them about our woes. Um, had a nice venison burger with them, and a quick look around the town. Like I say, it's, it's only small, but, but all right. Um, 
And that's it. Uh, behind on all these blogs, uploading them and the photos because the, the broadband's crap here, like it has been for the last three or four days. And I've, it's just not going to get done for a little while, unfortunately. I've said my mind and body's tired now. Um, as to be expected after 12 hard days, I guess. My knee, my, my right knee was hurting a bit today and my backside's a bit sore as well. Um, hopefully the weather will be okay for tomorrow. Um, the sort of, it turned a bit nasty uh, later today, as I've mentioned, and they were talking as if that was going to be it for the week, but people are now sat, I've, my internet connection's so bad I can't, can't even check it. But someone was saying they, they it's supposed to blow over and it, it, it it's looking good for tomorrow now. So hopefully that's right. No, no right to expect it. The weather we've been very lucky with the weather, but um, hopefully it can hold out for another day or two. Uh, and that is about it. I think I've rambled long enough. I'm tired. I'm gonna get an early night and hope that aids my recovery a bit better tomorrow. Only 65 miles today, but lots of hills. Uh, we go up the final part of the country, um, to the top there, but there are some hills, so it um, just depends if I recover or if, if, the, if the body's had enough now, but we'll get there. Um, I think that's about it. Um, I, I did a couple of um, mid-ride video blogs so I'll post them as well they're hopefully quite amusing explaining my state of mind at the time as things start as I start to struggle a little bit and hopefully I'll do another one of these tomorrow from Durness at the top of the country and have a bit more energy <laughs>